So if you've all been around here for a while or any length of time, you all know that I got an addiction. No, not this. But this. Coffee. We're going to roast our own coffee today. Alright, so in the interest of truth, interest of truth, I will go with that. I saw this on YouTube and I thought, I'd like to give that a shot. I've got some green beans. I got a cast iron skillet. And I got a stove. We're going to see if we can roast some beans in a cast iron skillet. I've seen it done in the oven. My oven window is dirty, so we won't be able to see it. So we're going to do it on the stove with the cast iron skillet. Let's get rolling. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up the skillet. I've got it uh, on number eight. I'm not sure what that means to you, but to me, it's on number eight. And anyway, we're going to heat up the cast iron skillet. This is what we're working with here. We have some green coffee beans. The key is once the beans go in, is to keep them moving, otherwise they will burn. Alright guys, I have no idea how long this is going to take. Obviously I'm going to speed things up a little bit. I don't want to burn the beans, but I do like a dark roast. Just a note to self. Yeah, we got turned down a little bit. We're starting to burn the beans. We gotta keep moving. I do like a dark roast, so that's what we're gonna try and go for here. I'm gonna have to turn on my fan, so sorry about that. Anyways, what we're gonna do here is try and get us a dark roast. Keep the beans moving so we don't burn them and try and get the most even roast we can. Now we're going to try and take these beans to the second crack. And I did hear one crack which is what reminded me to tell you about that. But uh, After a few minutes, you're going to get to hear the first crack. I can hear them starting to crack now. You may or may not be able to hear it because I got the fan going to suck the smoke out of here. We're going to take them to the second crack. We're just going to make them a dark roast. Keep turning the burner down here. I think we're going to catch fire. Just kidding. Got a whole lot of runners now. So what I want to do is I want to roast these until the oil starts coming out of the bean. And you can see the shine on the bean. Right now there's no shine. I'm not trying to rush this, but having never done it before, I'm not quite sure what to do here. And you, you, maybe I'll be quiet for a minute, you can hear the crack. Guys, the cast iron holds a lot of heat on its own, so 
Once it gets heated up, turn the turn the heat, obviously turn the heat way down and keep them moving. I've got the heat now set on minimum. These are just about done. Remember what I said, the cast pan will hold heat. So if you just take them off the heat to try and let them cool off, they will continue to cook. And that's not what you want. So we're gonna take them from the pan, put them on this tray, and then we're gonna take them outside where it's nice and cool and let them cool off. Right, guys like I said it's important to get them out of the pan when they're done get them out they will just keep on cooking um, listen to me it sounds like I know what I'm talking about I ain't never done this before but so there's our beans over there I got to get them outside get them to cool off now there is a skin that comes off the beans when you cook them and we got to get rid of that too because we don't want to put that in our coffee excuse me while I try and Yeah, well, I'll let you know what's going on there. We have a uh, gate up so that our dogs can't get in the kitchen. Short of me ended up on my head. All right, so we're outside. <laughs> you can see we're outside. Oh, and the dogs got out. That's not a good thing. Here's what we got. I'm going to let these things cool off. So we're going to let those things cool off, get rid of all the skin off of them, so I just have the bean. And it's best to let them, what they call, degas for a few days. That way it won't taste bitter when you brew your coffee. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let this sit for a few days. For me, it'll be a few days. For you, it'll be two seconds. You ready? All right, guys, welcome back. It's been about three days since I roasted this coffee. As you can see, there's some inconsistency in the roast. There's some white ones, some really dark ones gonna happen anyway I've just ground some up and it smells pretty good so I'm gonna load up a pod put it in the Keurig because that's how we do all the coffee testing here's a Keurig
I will say the smell okay I can smell SpaghettiOs if you get any sense to you SpaghettiOs but we got our Keurig loaded We're gonna see what happens now I don't know anything about these beans other than they were green beans I don't know whether they're from Brazil Colombia Costa Rica I have no idea I probably should have looked into that a little better but we're gonna let this brew we're gonna see how we did again I let it sit for three days you gotta let them degas um, looking at them now I think I probably could have let them roast a little more to get them a little darker but there's some really light ones in there you pick those out to try and keep the consistency the same otherwise you get a little bitter taste here and there but I don't know what do I got to lose it's coming all right so you and there's already milk in here I'm not quite sure why I already put it in there but usually when I do these videos I usually give you a little bit of history about the coffee company and the roasting of the coffee and this and that and and I really don't have a history with this coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of... Anyway, here we go. This coffee was grown and roasted in the tropical rainforest of southwestern Ontario. I'll just try the coffee. We don't have rainforest. That's not bad at all. I think what I have to do is let it roast a little more just to get a little darker. Because it's not as dark as I normally drink, but not bad for a first attempt. Now, truth be told, Jen come home right after I got done roasting this. The house stunk. And it didn't smell like coffee for some reason. Not to mention, I used her cast iron skillet. What are you doing, Diesel? Diesel just bellied up to the bar. I don't think you can see him here. You need a coffee? Anyway, I'm hoping it didn't ruin our cast iron skillet because that means I gotta go buy another one. So this coffee ended up roasting for about 20 to 25 minutes. And what I did was I got the skillet real hot, put the beans in, continued to stir it. I mean, constantly stirring it, as you saw. It lasted about 25 minutes because I was trying to get it dark. And when the oil started getting on the outside of the bean, I thought it was dark enough. So I, so I quit roasting it at, at 25 minutes. I heard the first crack, heard the second crack, so I thought I was pretty much there. Now looking at it a few days later, I could have went a little longer with it. But that's all you have to do is you just take your green beans, put them in a skillet, or you can even put them in an oven. Put them in a skillet, you got to keep them moving. And remember, the skillet stays hot. Even after the burner is shut off, it holds the heat. So if you were to just move it to the back burner and let it cool off, it will continue to cook and eventually burn the beans. So take it off, put it outside, you'll be good to go. Anyway, I think we're going to try this again in the future. Hopefully we can get it a little darker. Uh, again, we'll have to do when Jen's not home because it stinks. And don't want to ruin another skillet. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, share button. And if you've been here for a while, thank you very much. It's been a while since I did a coffee video like this. See you in the next one. Later. You need a coffee?